Hey guys, so yeah, new frame in the day. Super exciting, it is pretty, but still can't build it up yet because we are still waiting for parts to get in, um, hopefully soon, but with this extra time that, that I've got right now while waiting for parts to get in, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Oh, custom decals made with basically stuff that you have lying around in your household. Alrighty guys, so things you're gonna need. Scissors, knife, sharpie, masking tape, alcohol, water, you might or might not want a squeegee, paper towel or rag, make sure it's clean, and of course, vinyl. So we're gonna do a bunch of different things to this frame. We're gonna do some stripes and colors and stuff. But first off, we're gonna take care of these gray decals for the logo. And if you look at the other side, which I've already done, I want them in chrome. So that's the first thing we're gonna take care of. So the first step, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this masking tape and we are gonna mask the logo. Super simple. And try and make sure that you grab your masking tape and it covers the whole logo. Nice and neatly, just like that. Try your best to not get any wrinkles and make sure everything is nice and flush. Boom. Step one. And now, step two, we're gonna grab that Sharpie and we're gonna actually draw and trace that logo. And you wanna make sure you take your time on this so that it's nice and pretty and beautiful. For sharp lines and stuff like that, it's nice to have a ruler. I don't have one, so I'm using the cardboard box that the Sharpie came in. Um, so, yeah, man. This is the Mr. Percussive channel, and we do things on the cheap and packed over here. So, what you expect? We're doing super cheap. I can't even afford a ruler. So, just mark the edges with the sharp edges, just like that. And you want to try and actually draw a little bit bigger than what the logos are. Because you want, when you cut these out later, you actually want your decal to cover the existing logo. So if you look at what, what I'm doing right here, I'm actually kind of like putting the points on where the ends are, and that's that. Now, after I do that, I draw those lines, and I do that. Now, the ruler could be cool, but notice right now I'm using this cardboard box to help me draw lines and stuff. And it actually works pretty well because this bends to the and conforms to the shape of the frame. Pretty red. Just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to do the tops. Just like that. And the bottoms. And finish off the end and there you have it beautiful end and you want to go ahead and do the same for the rest of everything else you are trying to you know make details of so once again anywhere with a sharp point do that so it's super easy to do now sometimes you will have curves right so I kind of like freehand these curves like that and try your best to get clean free hand there we go and a lot of times I'm also kind of like anchoring my my pinky right here in the frame so I can get a cleaner free hand so it's not shaking everywhere I get nice and smooth and follows along the shape just like that boom just like that now from here on once again, I use my cardboard box and I draw and connect the lines. Boom, 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 boom. And then we do the same with the tops. 
Once again, remember that you want to draw these just a slight smidge bigger than what the thing you're actually going to cover up is. And... Oh. Done. Do the rest. And just like that, we are dunzies. How cool is that? So, right now, if you look at this, we have that. Pretty well traced. All right, so what is the next step? We grab our vinyl, which is this. Boom, beautiful silver vinyl. Damn. And we grab our masking tape and peel the masking tape off the frame. Now be very, very careful that we maintain, we make sure that the tape, as we peel it off, stays nice and flat and straight and stretched. So it helps to do that. Be careful to not tear it. Now you've got that. So this is what happens next. We grab that and then tape it on the vinyl. Make sure, whatever you do, you want to make sure that this is nice and flat and so it, it becomes one with the vinyl. Just like that. One with the vinyl. What is the next step, you may ask? Well, grab your scissors and cut. So, this right here is essentially your decal. What do we do next? We cut it. <laughs> so, there's gonna be a few ways I'm gonna be doing this. First off, for stuff like the end where I don't have to cut middles and stuff, I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors. Uh, once again, remember you want to cut a little bit bigger than what you drew. So right there, you can see that. I'm cutting right on the outside of that black line. So right there, try and keep it, keep the lines as straight as you possibly can. From here too, you can also cut them into individual ones like this so it's easier to cut. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. And remember you wanna cut on the outside on the outside of what you drew because these decals are going to cover your original logos. All right, now edges are, and where it meets stuff like this, cutting in angles does get a little bit trickier. Um, I'm just gonna be really careful with my pair of scissors right here. Um, I'm not even gonna use the knife just yet. So just be very, very careful not to over cut um, just like that same thing here cut a little bit on the outside of the line be very careful not to over cut and just once it meets the other the other end that's it cool very nice let's finish this end just like that. And what you're gonna find is that eventually, this just covers that. Now we are also using masking tape, and I will show you why masking tape works really, really well going over vinyl like this in a bit. But first, I'm just gonna take my time and cut the rest. Uh, I am gonna cut them individually around first and the ones in the middles are actually gonna be a little bit trickier and we actually have to use a knife for that. Um, but I'm just gonna cut them outside of each letter first. And uh, yeah. Just like that. And always, always cut on the outside of what you drew. Just like that. Cutting the rounds. There's my O. There's my N. I'm gonna keep going. Alrighty guys, so some of them I just like 
cut the sides right here with my scissors. And I'm gonna finish that off with a knife so it's gonna be a nice clean cut. Um, and I did the same thing with the C. I just cut that and that, and I'm gonna finish that line off with a knife. And then I'm gonna finish those off with a knife as well. Now, when you're doing this with a knife, it is very, very important that you make sure whatever you do, one, your knife is sharp, two, that you cut deep and through the vinyl because you actually want to make sure you're cutting the vinyl so that you don't tear the vinyl. And once again, I'm cheap, so I'm using my cardboard box thing. So that's what that is. And when you actually uh, tear off the tape and stuff, it's okay if you don't get the, the thick cardboard. It, you're just gonna get the tape, it's already cut. So take your time with this, make sure you get clean, clean cuts. You want the vinyl and you want the, mas the, the masking tape. And that's how we're doing that. Cool. All right. So that's how we're cutting these. Um, let's, you know, put them on. <laughs> so first things first, I'll call spray. Bloop, bloop. Wipe clean. Let it evaporate. Once that's evaporated, get some water, put it in a spray bottle like this. And the water's important just so that it's, it makes it easy to reposition the, the decals if you do not get them straight aligned. Um, so this is good. The other reason why the water is really cool is because it kind of wets the paper-based masking tape and it makes the masking tape easy to peel off uh, without ripping off the vinyl. So anyways, just a little bit of a spritz, but you can see that's my end. Peel it off just like that. And align this as best as I can, just like that. And remember when I said that you want oop, that you want to um, cut and draw a little bit bigger than what the actual thing is, because you are trying to cover up the whole logo. The other cool thing about using masking tape like this as well, yeah, make sure it's all nice and pressed in so that there's no air bubbles or anything. But the other reason why it's good to use masking tape for logos and stuff like this as well is that it keeps your vinyl from stretching. But anyways, after you push that in nice and it's all sticking, then carefully try and peel off only the masking tape and not your vinyl. Let's try and find an edge somewhere. Let's see, do I have it? Oof. There you go, just like that. That's the masking tape and not the vinyl. And what do we have? We have custom-made decals with things you have in your household. That's pretty sick, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of this, and then we'll talk more about how to do stripings and graphics and stuff and not just the logos. And there you have it. Boom. Boom. Doesn't that look sick? Right? And you can pretty much just do this with things you have lying around your house. Uh, thanks for watching part one on how to make custom decals with uh, stuff lying around your house. Part two is going to be, well maybe I'll make a part two, but it's going to be striping and like more graphics kind of stuff. Because um, I still have a lot of chrome vinyl left to play with. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click to subscribe, click for something else, click for something else. I'll uh, see y'all around.